Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started using Microsoft Excel right away. Let's jump in. So Excel is part of the Microsoft Office package, which you can purchase through a subscription on their website or the individual programs. And it's sort of the go-to spreadsheet software that's out there. And if you've never been into spreadsheets or Excel, it can seem a little intimidating when you first get in there. And it certainly was for me the first time I used it. But once you get in there and get comfortable with it and watch this video, it'll all start making sense. So once you've installed the program, this is going to be the home page that you're going to see when you first open it up. And just to kind of walk through a little bit of what you're looking at here, uh, you can see over here on the left, it says that we're on the home page. You can start a new document. You can open an existing spreadsheet if somebody sent you one or one that you've already been working on. And then across the top, there's a few different options. So you have a blank workbook, which would be, if you click new, would take you to the same thing. It has some tutorials that you can walk through in there, which are great to kind of get you started and understand what's going on. Then they have a few different templates. You can click on this and get even more templates. You can see they have calendars, they have some uh, data sheets, some invoices, just all sorts of great stuff that's already been in there to sort of get you started. But for today, we're just gonna click on new, we're going to go to blank document and this is the primary view that you're going to see a couple of things across the top you have an auto save feature if you have one drive set up you have the disk icon to save the workbook that you're working on some undo redo if you're familiar with microsoft word or any of the other microsoft office programs they're all set up very similar this will look familiar to you down below you have sort of your menu selections across the top and every time you click on one of these, it changes that ribbon below there, right? So you can click on this and it kind of brings up the most common uses for each of those. So under your home tab, which is probably where you'll spend most of your time, you can see, again, some of the standard word processing elements, copy and paste, uh, changing the font and size, the colors, positioning, alignment of your text, the wrap text, all that. And then you sort of get into some of the specific Excel elements. Uh, and we'll talk all about this, the cells themselves, being able to create formulas and things like that. And then in your main body here, this is sort of your work area. And the key about Excel is it starts out in this sort of grid setup. So you have columns going down, you have rows going across, and they're labeled accordingly. You have A, B, C, letters across the top all the way up to infinity. They'll start doubling up the letters. And then same thing down across the left side, they have numbers going down. So anywhere you click, it's gonna denote a certain cell, okay? And this is key to remember because this is sort of the, the backbone of how Excel works, is that let's say we click on this cell and it'll highlight G and it highlights 10. So this cell is denoted as G10. That's the identity, that's the location of this cell. Think of it like a map. Or you could say, hey, row four or column F. And then within that, you have J14 is the specific cell, okay? And then down here at the bottom, you have multiple sheets. So one workbook can be comprised of as many sheets as you want, and you can reference between the different sheets, okay? And so what we're going to do is we're going to just start creating a table in here, okay? Maybe we want to track our monthly household expenses, okay? So we're going to start over on the side. We're going to go date and then we go the item and the cost just a simple and you can add as many categories that you want to add to to make this all make sense right and then so we go here let's go one dash one we paid for the gas and it was a hundred dollars okay and then on one dash two we had car payment and it was six hundred dollars okay and then on one dash five we bought groceries and it was two hundred dollars okay so you can see you just kind of go through and add all these items in here now you can see a couple of things that happened in this one is as we were adding the dates in it automatically formatted it for the date so it says 1 jan 2 jan 5 jan right you can change that if you just select that column all right we're going to right click on that column and we're going to go format cell 
And then you can see you got different options here. So you go uh, general by date, you could do for the time, and you go date, and let's say I want it to be listed out as the full date, right? So we have the month, day, and year. So you hit OK, and you can see it changes the formatting of all of those. And then you see over here in this column, we've got, oh, some of that is cut off. So we're going to, again, we're going to select that column. And then you're going to see your, your little cursor change into sort of a plus sign with a arrows going across. And you click that, and you can drag it and now make it whatever size you want. And now we have the space to show up in there. Then you could click this, and maybe you wanna make that one smaller. And again, I, this is money, so I'm gonna click the right click on there, and I'm gonna go down to Format Cells. And then we're gonna go, this is Currency. So we're gonna click on Currency, and you can see you could add a dollar sign. You could have it be red if it's negative. You could add how many decimal places. So I'm just going to select this one, and we're going to go OK. So now you can see it adds the pennies. It adds formats it into that. Now we need a little bit more space, so we're going to add that out just like that. OK, maybe we have more space there. And then I also am looking at this going, well, now the rows that's denoting what each is of these items are is a little confusing in terms of it looks like the, everything else. So we're going to select that row and we're going to go back to home. And first of all, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to go to 12 point. Then I'm going to click on this to make it bold. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the fill of this. And we're going to have this column be blue, right? So now that adds that, makes that formatted just for that. Where Excel really becomes powerful is it can do the math for you. It can add things, it can subtract things, and really create some complicated formulas. But for the purpose of, of this example, what I'm going to do is I want to get a total of what we have. So I'm going to come down here a few lines, and I'm going to call this monthly total. And then in here, I'm going to make this the total of everything that's above there. So we're going to click on that cell. Then while we're in the Home tab, we're going to go over to Auto Sum, which is right over here. And this one's automatic. I mean, there's other ones. You could create an average. You could count the numbers. You could have the maximum, minimum. But I want to get a sum. I want to know what the, the total amount that we're spending for the month is. And we click Sum. Now, when you do that, it automatically pops up and goes, we're going to total this whole column here, everything that's above that. And I'm just going to hit enter and say that's what I want. So then you can see the total became 900. Now you can click on this and it shows you what this category is and it shows you what the actual formula that, that it automatically added in there. So this is equals sum and this formula is how it determines what it is. And, and there's tons of these. So this is saying it's taken the sum of C2, which again, that's, that's the location of the first one, all the way to click on that again, to C12. So you can see C12 is that whole thing. Well, maybe we only want to do up to the top. So you can change this, click on that, and go, well, I want to only want to go to C8. Okay? So you can click that. So now it's not doing the whole, whole column. It's doing, just doing part of it. Or you could change that however you want, right? Now, here's the. this is a live operation of this, is that now as we add things in there, it will make the total for us. So then we go, let's add 112. All right. So and all I say is 112. I click it. It adds a year. It formats it exactly how we want. And we go, we bought ice cream. Went out, had a nice time. We got some ice cream. And I'm going to go over here. And we're going to say that was $12. So I just add in 12. And when I hit enter, watch this total down here. And we go enter and it automatically updated that total, you see? So every time you add that in there, and let's say you, you continue to add items down in here, I'm just gonna run this, and we're just gonna scroll this down just like this, and it adds in there, and you can see it automatically incrementally increased each of the days, incrementally increased each of the dollar amounts. So if you have numbered items, it works for that. But just for the, the example sake, we're gonna show you, let's say I have all that filled in. I'm gonna switch this back to being the total 
thing, right? Let's say we get this whole thing filled up and you're going, oh no, now I need more space. You don't have to worry about any of that. You can just click on this. Let's say we go here and we go insert and it's just gonna start adding these tables in there. Let's go and highlight you know, several of those and we go insert, it just doubles all those, right? So now we've got these spaces all over here. So what we can do is we can highlight all of these and then we go, okay, let's say 130, we bought a dish soap, let's say that's $23. Okay, you see it updates that. But now I'm going, well, now we got all these spaces in here. We got stuff that's down here. This is out of order. We have all these spaces in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight all of the cells that I want this to be affected by. We're gonna go up to data, and then we're gonna go over here to sort, click on sort, and we're gonna go, I wanna sort by the date, cell values oldest to newest. So just by clicking that, it's gonna sort everything based on the date over here and go okay. And now it's sorted all of those. Uh, let's select everything again and let's go sort by, and let's say we wanna go by the cost and I wanna go the largest to the smallest. So you select that. And now it's sorting by the amount of money over here. And again, all these totals stay the same. It's just different ways so you can change the way you're looking at it, change the way you're viewing it and add that in there. Let's say you wanna add another column. So I just select this, I go insert. It inserts another column in here and you could do category. And now we could select that and be like, this was for cars, this was for household and you can see you can auto fill these maybe this is fun this is fun right so you could create different categories have it sorted by categories and then so you could go down here to sheets and let's rename this as budget okay and then you could add another sheet here again it's all in the same workspace so you can kind of click back and forth and maybe we rename this and we go big purchases, right? So you could add, you know, maybe you just want to keep track of, we want to buy a new couch. Uh, we want to buy a new TV. We want to buy a lawn mower. And then you could add the amounts in there. You know, maybe this is 1,050. This is 990. So you create as many sheets as you want within one document. Now where this really gets fun is where you can really easily track everything that you need. So let's say we go over here and we go, our total monthly budget is $3,400 per month. All right, so we click on that and we go format cell, currency, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a formula over here that just creates a basic math problem where we're gonna go, we're gonna take our, our monthly budget and we're gonna subtract the amount of expenses that we've had each month. So all you need to do is you go over here and in order to start a formula, you just make the equal sign, okay? And then you write the formula using the cells that you want to, to go with. So we're going, we wanna take cell C22, so you go C22, right? And it highlights it there, minus D22. So then all we have to do is click on that, right? So it's saying minus that. So that that is just a simple math equation. The only thing that you need to remember is that you have to put equals first, just so that it knows that this is a formula. And so you click enter, and then it does the math for you. So it's going, our budget is 340, we've spent 1028, that's how much we have left. And then every time you add another amount, all these change, 67, 1453, right? So it just keeps creating that math. And then we go, all right, now that we have $2,232.47 left over for the month. And so I hope you could see the power of Excel to kind of create these formulas, to track things, keep track of whether it be finances or items or a collection or whatever the case is. And once you're done, you just go up here to the little disk icon, you click on save, 
and you call this a household budget and you let it save in your documents or wherever you want to save it. You click on save and then it saves it. Now you can open up that later and refer to it as you go. And with that, you are up and going in Excel and you've created your first workbook. Congratulations. I hope this video helped you out and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.